Greetings escapers, this video will be in a shorter format than usual. Servers are on fire when I record this, but I had some time to look at basic gear offered by vendors at loyalty level 1. I will mostly focus on what guns could be worth buying and which barters look like a good deal. Let's start with Praepor. From guns, SKS is great versus early armor with 7.62 PSA mo. PP-1001 is a full auto 9x19mm SMG and is very good early game. Drawback is, you will need a rig for it, so the total cost will jump to around 30k. It's quite an investment, but if you like playing in close quarters, it may be your best bet. It's also a great gun in case you bought too many 9x90 rounds by mistake. Mosin is ok if you like one shots and prefer slower gameplay. TT and Makarov are for ultra budget rounds, but I would treat it as a last resort option only. From barters, 545BT and BPA Moans are very nice versus early armor. Both rounds have almost the same stats when it comes to damage and penetration, BT deals more damage to armor but it's also tracer round. I would go for BT barter, wiper will be needed for quest later on. PSO scope is nice but 7 car plugs will be needed for quest too. The last barter worth going for is 3 Tushonkas for AKM. Tushonkas will be also needed for task but it's easy to find them in Goshan on interchange. Therapists have nothing interesting going on loyalty level 1. I would ignore barter for painkillers and probably do only few for car medkits early game. Medkit cost 6600 rubles last patch, so it's not great value as the game progresses. Skir don't have anything good for sale. From barters, ADR trade is amazing. Rechargeable batteries should be easy to find in filling cabinets or random containers. Vapor KM is great gun, but you will need horse figurines for documents case barter and ragman's tasks later in the game. Peacekeeper have M9A3 Beretta for around 11k rubles. It uses 9x90 rounds, same caliber as early game SMGs and those rounds can penetrate low level armors on a decent level. MP5KN is a new addition to the game and I'm little disappointed by its performance. It costs almost the same as PP-1001 when you compare full loadouts, but it has much more noticeable recoil. When it comes to barters, MBS's backpack for one hard drive is great early game. M67 grenade is not bad, but it has very long fuse time of 5 seconds, so it's very hard to kill enemies with it. MP5 barter was changed to only 6 A2707 knives, it may be something to consider for early game, since you should get at least one knife on each of your scav runs. Mechanic have Glock 17, but you can't buy euros from any loyalty level 1 vendors, and even then, if you look at the last patch conversion rates, it would be around 15k rubles for it. There is also Glock 17 for rubles, but you will have to buy barrel and slider plus magazine for euro, so after conversion, total cost will be almost 14k rubles. Go for Beretta if you want to run pistol. From barters, Vulcan scope could be ok, but it seems you will need a lot of drills for hideout upgrades, so I would skip it. I would keep Tetris if you got one, maybe it will be needed for hideout too. MP133 shotgun barter will be needed for completing Gunsmith Part 1 quest on Mechanic. It seems red pliers can spawn in sport bags, you should also find them on shelves on interchange. MPX barter is something to consider, but it requires too much items to be worth it in my opinion. Set of tools will be required for tasks and also many are needed for hideout upgrades. I would keep gunpowder, you can get ammo case cheaply later. Ragman have SSH-68 helmet, it was the best budget helmet in the last patch and it will be probably the same this time around. Make sure to pair it with good armor and for the love of what is holy, don't you even think about buying Copa. It muffles the sound and will not protect you from anything. The new addition is so a micro rig and I must say this thing looks amazing. Cost around 10k rubles, have 8 total slots, so you can have 3 spare marks in it. Buy sling back if you want some extra space for loot early game. From his barters, pack a trade for 5 lower half masks is still there. Same for MBSS backpack for 2 dog tags. Both are good barters early game. SB515 barter is something you should keep in your mind. You can get toilet paper from lavatory craft, I have also found soap in sport bag. It's level 4 armor and it will make you quite tanky so early in the game. SB47 helmet is just a little better than SSH68 helmet covering also your ears. You can also mount a night vision on it. Drawback is that bleach is needed for task at later stage of the game. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching and see you on raids.